Scroll views are a really important part of UI and nowadays they can be found in almost every other game out there. Sometimes we have this scenario where we have a button saying something like show a special discounted deal and when the user clicks on it, we want to automatically navigate the user to the shop page and then scroll all the way down to that special deal. We don't want the user to be scrolling up and down looking for that specific item. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add this functionality to your scroll views in Unity. If you are looking for scroll views with more advanced functionalities, make sure to check out Super Scroll View Asset available on the Unity Asset Store. Super Scroll View provides multiple features such as drag down to refresh and reload, infinitely looping scroll views, the ability to select items in your scroll views, and many other such features. The link for Super Scroll View is available in the description of the video. So let's get started with the tutorial. I have a simple UI canvas with a background image already added to the scene. Inside the canvas, I will create an empty object called shop menu. And inside the shop menu, I will add a scroll view for all the shop items from which we are going to scroll down and display one item using our code. Let's customize the scroll view. I don't need the horizontal and vertical scroll bars, so I'm just going to delete these. And also, I'm going to disable horizontal scrolling. Over here, add a grid layout to the content of the scroll view and a content size filter to automatically resize the scroll view. Let's change the background image to something nice. And now we can just add different shop items to the scroll view. Just like a regular shop menu, we will add purchasable items for crystals and gold. The special discounted deal will be somewhere in the middle where we will have to scroll down and find it. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to make the scroll view a little bit smaller so that it is easier to see which item is visible at the moment. And now if I run the scene, we can see that we have all the packages for the crystals at the top and at the bottom we have the packages for the gold and somewhere in the middle we have our special discounted deal. Now let's add a button with which we can directly scroll down to our special discounted deal. And two more buttons, one for scrolling up to the deals for crystals and one for scrolling down to the deals for purchasing gold. And our UI is now ready. Let's get started with implementing the code behind these three buttons. On the scroll menu, add a new script which I will call scroll to item. In the script, the first thing we need to do is import the Unity UI library. We need two reference variables, one for the scroll view and one for the rectangle transform of the content panel. Create a function for when the button is pressed. As a parameter of the function, we will require a rectangle transform of the target object which we want to show to the user. Start by calling force update canvas. This way, the UI will be refreshed once our function is done executing. Next, we need the local positions of the scroll view and the target object. And now we can just calculate the local position of the content panel. This can be done by calculating the sum of the scroll view and target local positions and then subtracting them from zero. And finally, set the local position of the content panel to this new value. And now we can go back to Unity and assign this function to all three of the buttons. Start by assigning variables to the script. Then assign the functions to the buttons. As parameter of the function, we will pass the required items which we want to show to the user. Let's run the project to test everything so far. And as we can see, when we press the button, the required item is displayed at the center of the scroll view. However, mostly we want to display the item at the top of the scroll view. To do this, we will need to make some minor adjustments to our code. In the position we calculated earlier, simply add half the height of the scroll view 
and then subtract half the height of the target content. This way, the top of the target content will be placed at the top of the scroll view. And we are all done. Let's run the code to test everything out. And perfect, everything is working just as we wanted to. Now if you are using a horizontal scroll view instead of a vertical one, you will need to do the opposite, that is add the width to the x-axis instead of adding the height to the y-axis. This way the required item will be shown at the leftmost corner of the scroll view. And that's it for scrolling down to an item in a scroll view using code. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe.